not only set it and forget it, but also amp things up a notch or two is my bud, Alex Page. Yeah. Alex? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, first off, so amped that you're here. Fun fact, a little birdie told me it's your birthday today. It is. <laughs> Yeah, thank Sorry you. for making you cook on your birthday. No, it's all good. I, I love cooking. We were just talking about, you know, when I have a day off yeah. to myself, I like to cook. Yeah, people are yeah. like, oh, you don't cook, right? And I'm like, no, that's when I really cook. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, and so today we're going to do some slow cooker recipes. Beautiful. I wish I got the sweatpant memo. Yeah. Like, like, anytime I can wear sweatpants, I love it. And this is kind of sweatpant food, yeah. right? Yeah, that's the thing with slow cookers in general. I feel like it's the time of year. It's a tool that sometimes I put away, I forget about it, but then yeah. I go through real kicks with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, you know, if you don't have one, call your mom or your, <laughs> your aunt or there's somebody in the family who has one, they got to dig out. Right? Totally, totally. And they're totally worth it. So we're going to start off. Uh, I'm going to do three recipes. Okay. And the first one is a white bean chicken chili. Oh. So, you know, just to kind of change things up a little bit throughout the winter, mm -hmm. instead of doing like a tomato based chili, we have uh, chicken. So, oh, okay. in this pan here, mm -hmm. I've just browned some chicken with butter and oil. Okay. I like the combo, yeah. the butter. Yes. You the got butter that flavor. gets a little bit of that brown going totally. on. And now, what type of chicken are we doing? So, chicken thighs. Nice. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's the way to go, beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful. So, Butter's going in. Beautiful. Diced onion. I still like, uh, you know, don't just throw everything right into the slow cooker. I was going to say, you this still want is some an... color. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting a little golden brown kind of exactly. action here. Exactly. Yeah, and then we go in with our garlic. Mm -hmm. And then the chili flavor in this chili is going to come from chilies. Ooh, yeah. not chili powder. No. We're not messing around today. So we have jalapeno and banana peppers. Mm -hmm. You could totally, yeah. Ooh. So I'm taking the seeds out, but if you wanted to, you could leave them in. Yeah. I probably would. I know, I like, yeah. I like it spicy. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, me too. And then our spices that we're going in with, mm -hmm. cumin, mm -hmm. some oregano. Beautiful. Oh, already this looks beautiful. Right? Little coriander. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love a coriander. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then Ooh. we go, you know, um, magic of TV. This yep. is going right in here. Perfect. Into our slow cooker. That was beautifully done. I would have right? messed that up. <laughs> Let me tell you, that was so nicely done. And yeah. then we go in with our, our white beans. Mm -hmm. Just a can? Yeah, nice. drained and rinsed. Mm -hmm. And then our green chilies go in there. Just can like one of, of those cans. Yeah, one of the cans of the chili. You get right? those usually near like where you get your salsa in the grocery yes, store. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And then chicken broth. Beautiful. Use low sodium so you can control the sodium yourself. Totally. Right? Mm -hmm. We give that a little stir. Oh my gosh, look at the Do you color. Smell that I too? smell yeah. it smells so good. Yeah, so that goes on low heat mm -hmm. for four hours. Okay. And then what I like to do the last half an hour, take some of the beans out, mm -hmm. mash them, oh. back in on high for half an hour. Thickens, thickens it up. Thickens it up. Mm -hmm. And then we have a bowl here, and look, we're gonna jazz this up. Actually, do you have a spoon Yeah, here? I got a spoon, there you go. Perfect. We're gonna go sour cream. Beautiful. Some cilantro. Oh yeah, I love a cilantro. Oh, another spoon, yeah. Some avocado. Stunning. Oh, all the greens. Right. I like radish too. Me Sliced too. Radish a on little there. peppery, right? Guys, and when you're garnishing oh, with, yeah. with chips, you know. You know, like yes. the chip garnish yeah. is, is plus, right? And also the chip. <laughs> Serve it with chips on the side. It's basically just a big bowl of dip. You're just eating dip. Oh, That's I it. love That's that. That's it. All right, okay. now we're moving on into kind of more soupy territory, yes. right? What are we making? Uh, between your your uh, French onion soup and this one, the whole building in here is it just smells it smells really really incredible. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so this one we're doing like a pho style. Beautiful. Broth. Okay. So I've used beef shank, mm -hmm. uh, also you know referred to as also buco, mm -hmm. and I've given it a really good brown. Mm -hmm. You see that there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then into our slow cooker. So you're gonna go. We're we just those? gonna dump them. Yeah, let's in? just dump her in. Dump it in. Ugh. That's slow yeah. cooking, baby. That's slow cooking. I love it. Oh. Dump it in. Delish. Uh, we are also gonna go in with some rice wine, mm -hmm. some soy sauce. Beautiful. And again, that's gonna bring some umami in there, right? Oh, that smells so good already. Right? Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Water. So because you have so much flavor coming from that shank, yeah. you don't even need to use broth here. Yeah. And then look at our aromatics. So we go in with some garlic. Beautiful. Some tomato. Oh, I like the tomato a dish. Right? Mm -hmm. A little umami. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Oh, cute. Some green onion. Yeah. And then our spices that are really going to punch that up. Star anise. You one love a star favorites. anise. One Every time favorites. Alex is here, he's putting that star anise in. <laughs> and a cinnamon stick. Beautiful. Lid goes on. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. Oh gosh, that's gonna smell. Your house is gonna be out of control. Eight hours. Okay, that's yeah. a long one. Yeah. Eight hours on low. Mm -hmm. And then we see, I served it here with some rice noodles. Mm -hmm. And you can just, uh, the beef will literally just fall right apart. So this is that beef that's after that braising. Yes, look at that. Look at like, that, just, just falling apart. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh. You just so pop you some of that? So you can top some of that beef on top Ooh, of there. That looks good. Look at this, some bean sprouts. Nice, classic. And some basil, you could use Thai basil if you want as well. Stunning. Lime wedge there. That looks Look at that. out of and that, control. And like, you didn't really have to do that much, right? Stone Cold Stunner, oh my gosh, yeah. that, and your house is gonna smell amazing. You're gonna you make, make new friends. If you make this one, your house is gonna smell amazing I was gonna say, well. now we're doing desserts. I love this energy, what are we making? Yeah, I wanted to do a dessert because I don't think people associate the slow cooker with a dessert, yeah, Maybe right? applesauce, but end of list. Yeah, yeah. that's it, right? Yeah. Um, I love Bananas Fosters. Mm. However, we can still get Ontario pears right now. Okay. So I thought, why not do a pears foster? Love that. So firm pear, mm -hmm. uh, a Bartlett pear. I've just quartered them mm -hmm. and uh, taken the core out. Okay. Those are going in our slow cooker. And you want those firm ones so they don't fall apart, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah, because yeah, we still want them to maintain their shape. Yeah. We go in with... We got really, <laughs> listen y'all, it is, we did the temperature gauge, it is 10% humidity in here and yeah. that's how you get this type of brown sugar. Yeah. 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 So brown sugar, oh yeah. Was that rum? Rum. Ooh, rum okay. is going in there. Mm -hmm. uh, butter. Yeah, beautiful. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just gonna perfume into I those know, pears. Right? Cinnamon. Ugh, love it. Now this one is not too long. Two hours or so. Yeah. And then the last half an hour, I add in my nuts. So okay. pecans and some walnuts. I like the bowl. And then look at this. Look And at we're going to serve that. You could do that on top of waffles, pancakes. And you're going to go grab some ice cream. <laughs> we're going with ice cream, though. We're going with ice cream. And we got to do ice cream because it's somebody's birthday. Uh Spoon, grab a spoon, let's give All that right. for you. And I'm gonna steal a fork too, because I'm gonna eat some of your birthday stuff. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Pop that ice cream right. You know right. what I'm doing for my birthday? What are you doing? Going home and putting on sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me pop this down. Whoa, that ice cream is doing its thing. Pop that down, that little bit of ice cream right on top. And Alex Page, shall we do a little Thank happy, happy birthday, Alex? Thank you. Thank happy, you so happy much. birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna dig into this, but just in case you don't have that slow cooker at home, thanks to Hamilton Beach, you're all going home with their eight quart slow cooker. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Great job, man. Happy birthday. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.